Hi, I'm your host, DJ Skip, and you're listening to Foundation After Midnight Radio, the only radio station broadcasting from within the Foundation during these sweet, sweet midnight hours. I'm coming to you live from an undisclosed location, but regardless of whether it's midnight where you are or not, I invite you to listen in for announcements, warnings, and important happenings. So let me be the first to say, welcome to the Foundation. It's that time of year again when the Foundation hires on a bunch of new personnel. Uh, not, not that it's a, it's a set thing, but it just it always seems like every year there's an influx of new recruits coming in about this time, so... We here at 93.9 FAM Radio want to make sure we properly welcome you to our humble, world-saving organization. You might have been brought in because you were at the top of your class, the brightest in your field, or maybe you saw something you weren't supposed to. Something beyond explanation. You tried to bring attention to it, but you were laughed out of good standing. Now, in disgrace, you have no choice but to work within our clandestine organization, protecting the poor, unsuspecting masses, as well as the fools who mocked you. Whatever your story, we're happy to see you here. To make sure you're all up to speed, we're going to take this time to explain some essential bits of information about the Foundation. So let's start with the big one, shall we? What is the Foundation? The Foundation is an organization committed to housing the strange and unnatural by whatever means necessary. It's a thankless job, but without us, society would crumble, the planet would fracture, reality would be undone. Or worse. Now, we have a recording from the administrator that I heard when I first started here. Just gotta blow the dust off the old tapes. (laughs) I'm just kidding, everything's digital. Recording, recording, recording. Mankind in its present state has been around for a quarter of a million years. Yet only the last 4,000 have been of any significance. So what did we do for nearly 250,000 years? We huddled in caves and around small fires, fearful of the things that we didn't understand. It was more than explaining why the sun came up. It was the mystery of enormous birds with heads of men and rocks that came to life. So we called them gods and demons and begged them to spare us and prayed for salvation. In time, their numbers dwindled and our numbers rose. The world began to make more sense when there were less things to fear. Yet the unexplained can never truly go away. As if the universe demands the absurd and the impossible. Mankind must not go back to hiding in fear. No one else will protect us. We must stand up for ourselves. While the rest of mankind dwell in the light, we must stand in the darkness to combat it, contain it, and shield it from the eyes of the public, so that others may live in a sane, normal world. We secure, we contain, we protect. I couldn't have said it better myself. Secure... Contain. Protect. That is our simple motto. We secure the anomalous and remove them from the general population for everyone's safety. We contain to minimize their effects on the outside world, or sometimes the outside world's effect on them. And we protect. We protect the world from the harmful effects of the entities within our walls, even at the cost of our own lives. We are the last bastion of security in a world where natural laws rapidly break down. Monstrosities that would kill every living thing. We also hold amazing constructs and entities that could just as easily elevate our very existence as they could fry our minds. We are why the world continues. Uh, Next up, we have a recording that properly covers the full mission statement and operations of the Foundation here. So... Please enjoy. Operating clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction, empowered and entrusted by every major national government with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. 
These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The Foundation operates to maintain normalcy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, and to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extradimensional, and other extranormal influence. Our mission is threefold. Secure. The Foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civilian or rival agencies through extensive observation and surveillance, and by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. Contain The Foundation contains anomalies with the goal of preventing their influence or effects from spreading by either relocating, concealing, or dismantling such anomalies, or by suppressing or preventing public dissemination of knowledge thereof. Protect the Foundation protects humanities from the effects of such anomalies, as well as the anomalies themselves, until such time that they are either fully understood or new theories of science can be devised based on their properties and behavior. The Foundation may also neutralize or destroy anomalies as an option of last resort if they are determined to be too dangerous to be contained. Foundation covert and clandestine operations are undertaken across the globe in pursuit of our primary missions. Special Containment Procedures the Foundation maintains an extensive database of information regarding anomalies requiring special containment procedures, commonly referred to as SCPs. The primary Foundation database contains summaries of such anomalies and emergency procedures for maintaining or re-establishing safe containment in the case of a containment breach or other event. Anomalies may take many forms, be it an object, an entity, a location, or a freestanding phenomenon. These anomalies are categorized into one of several object classes and are either contained at one of the Foundation's myriad secure facilities or contained on-site if relocation is deemed unfeasible. SCPs, followed by an identifying number. But also sometimes they're called SCIPs for short. They are generally classified as safe if they can be locked away without issue, Euclid, if they need to be more actively monitored and secured, and Keter if they present a threat even in containment and require the utmost security and surveillance to keep them in containment. In order to contain each skip, special containment procedures make up a list of necessary materials and protocols that must be followed to properly keep it safely tucked away. You'll learn some are more well known to personnel, while others are much more obscure rarely referenced at all. They are strange as they are numerous. Keep in mind that they are to be treated equally, which is typically neutrally. Regardless of what they are or what we know of them, getting too close to an entity or even loathing one can negatively affect your ability to make rational decisions regarding their containment and the protection of those around you. If the Foundation were a body, its bones would be concrete and metal cells. The organs are the deadly shadow people, living cars, hellish nightmares, and cheaply made children's toys. They must be kept inside the body. The personnel would be the skin, the muscles, the lifeblood. The squishy yet important bits. From the Guardian Security Forces to the noble researchers, we, the people, are the foundation. Researchers lead in the understanding of anomalies, testing their strengths and weaknesses, lighting the way for better containment procedures, and safer handling of skips. Security teams are our first line of defense, protecting from dangers within as well as without the facilities they patrol. Mobile task forces are our sword, reaching out and cutting down dangerous entities and bringing them in for the world's safety. Dealing with anomalous beings is very dangerous. And while we have the latest technology, sometimes you need a human set of hands, eyes, and ears. Often, literally, because some of these will only respond to human matter. This is where D-class personnel come in. Though not here of their own free will, they serve an important role just as well. Usually death row inmates, these men and women are repaying their debt to society by giving their lives to the progression of science. They may be human guinea pigs, but... Damn it, there are human guinea pigs. And they help us to keep the dark at bay one way or another. Unknown to the outside world. 
I, uh, I also wanted to take this time to mention that all personnel, including you newbies, are welcome to join the Intersight Intramural Softball League. This season starts off soon, so teams are filling up. Will you be on the Site 19 staring statues, the Site Redacted's unkillable lizards, or the Site 103's landmine cacti? Hope to see you on the field. Now, uh, while not required viewing material, uh, some some media that I may uh, recommend to new personnel would include Cabin in the Woods, John Dies at the End, and Torchwood, to name a few. A complete list of my uh, personal recommendations can be found on my blog. Uh, for any of those who are interested, we can talk about that later. Now for some FAQ for everyone listening in tonight. I've got an old recording from an orientation I did a while back. I'm going to just tackle a few of the frequently asked questions here. Okay, uh, since we, um, uh, we are not going to have a, a chance for questions later. Okay, question number one. Is the foundation evil? Okay, um... While we may be using human test subjects and hoarding away a pill that can cure cancer uh, and possess several never-ending food supplies, like a pizza box that will always have a, a full pie of your favorite topping on it every time you open the box that could potentially bring about the end of world hunger, but instead we're using it for lowering the food budget, no. Uh, the Foundation has uh, no plans to take over or change the world. If anything, uh, we want the world to go on doing about exactly what it's doing. Let humanity run its course without being disturbed by the disturbing entities within these walls. Alright, uh, next up, um, question two. How many skips are there? Okay, um, okay, that, that, that's a little hard to say. Uh, there, uh, there are, are new SCPs being discovered all the time. Uh, there are also those that are only recently released to certain clearance levels. Uh, but last I checked, we currently have over 2,000 documented skips in containment. Number three here. Why don't we just kill the skips? Okay. Uh, because it's not that simple. Some of these can't be killed... Some of them might even become worse. We protect, whether it's our faculty or the entities we house. Also, it's harder to learn from a corpse. And question four, we have, um... <laughs> Are the D-class personnel really all death row criminals? Because there seem to be a lot of them, and this one guy said he wasn't a criminal, and he's got a family back home, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you hear something like this, then you have encountered a tricky D-class personnel and should report them to the Department of Resources, comma, human, so it can be marked on their profile. All D-class personnel have thoroughly categorized psychiatric profiles and they will be reassigned properly. Next up, we have uh, question five. Um... Does anyone else know about the foundation? Okay. Um, well, we don't talk about them as much, and typically it won't be a part of your department, but we do want you up to speed. So, uh, yes, there are other organizations who know about us and what we do, and most of them have their own ideas and agendas when it comes to dealing with anomalous objects. Let's see here, uh, Marshall, Carter, and Dark LTD, they sell and trade anomalous objects for profits. The Global Occult Coalition, who seeks to destroy anomalous objects. The, uh, Chaos is Certain Sea, a splinter group broken off from the Foundation. These are, these are just a few. You can probably look into, uh, other organizations if you are curious. Uh, note, though, that you will be, uh... You will be red listed if you do too much research for too long. Just throwing that out there. Beyond that, 
We exist and operate in secrecy to all except for high-ranking civilian government officials in most countries. Well, that is a lot of material to take in, so we're going to take a break now. If you have any additional questions, you are always welcome to call me here at the Foundation After Midnight Radio Hotline by dialing 512-937-2346. That's 512-93-RADIO. And leave us a voicemail. If we like your question and we answer it on the air, you could be our lucky winner to receive a Level 4 Clearance Badge, granting you clearance access to information deemed restricted and top secret. Coffee and snacks are available in your site's lobby, which are down the hall and to the left of the bathrooms. But don't go to the right. How do I know this with so many sites around the globe? Why? I'm your friendly late-night Foundation radio host. It's my job to keep up with everything going on behind the scenes within our behind-the-scenes organization. Welcome to the Foundation family. It only gets stranger from here. But, but you know, in, in a good way. With the exception of uh, containment breaches. Those are when uh, an anomalous entity has breached its containment. Those are... Those are strange in a bad way. Very bad way. And on that note, good night. This has been Foundation After Midnight Radio, Episode 00, Intro to the Foundation. FAM Radio is written by Toad King 07, aka Eric Stover, and Kyle Stover. It is produced by Toad King Studios. The voice of DJ Skip is done by Kyle Stover. A word from the administrator was done by The Vulgan. We Are SCP was done by SCP Readings. Content is based off the SCP Foundation and is released under the Creative Commons 3.0 shareable license. As best we can, inspiring articles and authors are credited in the description or on the Facebook page. Links will be posted online for those interested on reading more. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our radio hotline. Yeah, that's actually a thing we have. You can reach us at 512-937-2346. That's 512-93-RADIO. You can leave us a voicemail. The Foundation community is made up of an amazing collection of artists and writers and creative types. And Foundation After Midnight Radio gets its inspiration from all across the fandom. If you'd like to see your work inspire future announcements and episodes please reach out to us on any of our pages or email us at scp93.famradio at gmail.com. We also invite those up to the challenge to reuse and remix our recordings and characters into something totally new. To support us, subscribe, like, and share. Keep listening for more episodes in the future. We appreciate you listening to our radio podcast series. Thanks. This has been Toy King 07, signing off.